One of the main specialised services that provide assistance to survivors of domestic or gender-based violence is shelters. We can learn how they work on the example of a shelter in Kiderson. Shelter is a safe, secret place where survivors with children can stay for a long time, receiving comprehensive psychosocial assistance and support to overcome the traumatic experience of violence. Survivors can be delivered here by the police, social services, mobile team of psychosocial support and an authorised representative of a local government. A survivor can stay here for up to three months if necessary. This period can be extended to six months. Qualified psychologists and social workers develop an individual plan of care for each survivor, taking into account her needs and circumstances. Women receive comprehensive assistance here psychological support, social supervision of specialists, legal counselling, as well as assistance in obtaining medical care and employment. The shelter in Kirsten has three bedrooms, each with four beds for adults and one baby bed. The shelter is designed for the simultaneous accommodation of 12 women with children. The shelter is everything for a comfortable long-term stay of women and children. There is room for group work and a lounge with a TV, sofa, children's toys and baby playpen. There is a large kitchen equipped with a fridge, microwave, multi-cooker, oven and everything needed for cooking. There is also a high baby chair for feeding. The premises is meet all sanitary norms, hygienic standards and fire safety requirements. The shelter provides a safe and comfortable space, enabling survivors to plan steps to start a life free from violence. To establish a shelter in your community, you need to 1. Receive endorsement of a local government that need to approve the establishment of the shelter. 2. Find a building with a separate entrance, bedrooms to accommodate at least 10 adults, room of specialists, kitchen and bathroom. 3. Create conditions for a safe, round-the-clock and comfortable stay of survivors and their children, including persons with disabilities. 4. Engage the necessary staff to ensure round-the-clock work of the service. At least four social workers, psychologist, lawyer and shelter manager. 5. Provide specialised training for shelter personnel. 6. Develop and approve algorithms for referring survivors to the shelter by the police, social services and mobile teams of psychosocial support. 7. Secure funding for shelter operation to ensure sustainable provision of quality assistance to survivors.